بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Today, inshallah, we are going to take lesson four from unit five, knowing the market. If you open your box at page number forty-nine, you will find the lesson. At the previous uh, episode, we have discussed, or we have, uh, yes, we have discussed how to build your conversation by choosing the correct opener uh, phrases, whether they are a uh, question or a uh, sentence. And we have listed uh, uh, the suitable phrases uh, and, and uh, suitable phrases. Today, inshallah, we are going to take a uh, uh, similar, but uh, uh, we are going to, to know uh, uh, how to build our conversation. Uh, this is the first one, speaking and reading, building a conversation by using questions. Uh, always in conversation, it's very good and very useful to use questions. Why do you think uh, asking questions in the conversation is a useful way? Uh, of course, uh, because if you want to open paragraph, uh, you ha or it's better to use a question at the first. And also, it's a good way for building a conversation by asking uh, a question back. When you ask a question or you start your uh, conversation with a question, it's a good way to build uh, or to ask a question with. Here we have example of uh, some conversation. Suppose to read it with uh, a partner. Uh, you can read it at your home with any uh, one uh, uh, from your family. So the conversation is between uh, Jamal and Hadi. Hi, did you see the interview last night? Yes, I watch it very uh, every week. Last night I watched I watched it with my father and uncle. They like the interviewer. Yes, he is polite and listens to what his guest says. And he doesn't interrupt. Did you see it when he had to stop the other guest interrupting? Yes, I thought he handled it really well. And he always asks interesting people to come to on the show. Yes, I agree. Who would you like him to interview? One day, I hope he will interview Majid Abdullah. I don't know him. Who is he? He was voted as the best football player in Saudi Arabia. What else do you watch? Me? Well, I do like Khawatir. So if you notice here, this dialogue, uh, uh, a lot or, or uh, almost of this uh, conversation is question. So as I told you before, it's very good way to start your conversation with the questions. Uh, because when you so, uh, when you do uh, did so, uh, it helps you to open first to open your conversation and build your conversation by asking, then uh, receiving an uh, a question or receiving answer. So uh, I hope you can read this uh, with you, uh, with a partner at your home. Uh, and try to pay attention at the intonation. If you, want, if you read a question, try to read it as a question. If you read a statement or uh, a sentence, read it as a sentence and so on. Here, the, we are going to, uh, or this is the same conversation, uh, but uh, now uh, try to write down the questions which are used in the converse, uh, conversation. Uh, if you like, uh, if we count the question from the beginning, you can find the first one here. Did you see the interview last night? This is the first question. Here we have the first question. Did you see the interview last night? Uh, and we have other question. Uh, when he say, did you see that when he has stopped the other, uh, the other guest interrupt, uh, interrupting or interrupting? Here we have uh, the other question. And uh, the, the other or the third question is, who would you like him to interview? And another question, who is he? When he said, who is he? This is also a question. 
and what else when he said what else do you watch so there are about uh, five questions in this conversation so there uh, uh, the questions when you write down the questions also uh, it helps uh, it helps you to build your own conversation now we have about uh, we have a, a conversation uh, i want from you uh, first to listen to uh, these five conversation and try to uh, write down what each uh, conversation uh, is about what is about what is one about okay try to listen carefully unit five lesson four one have you listened to the latest recitations yet you can download them now from the website. Oh, good. The discussions of the Hadith are always really interesting. Two. Have you read Naj al Burda by Ahmed Shauki? I really like his poetry. Yes, I agree. Although I can't always understand it. Three. Did you see anything at the Al Janadria festival? What did you think of the folk dancers? Oh, yes. Well, we usually go every year for a big family day out. We usually like the tents from different regions. But this year, I didn't go because I was revising for exams. Four. Have you seen the advert in the paper for calligraphy lessons? I think the price is quite reasonable and I would like to be able to perfect the shape of my letters and write artistic cards. Are you interested in going? What a good idea. Unfortunately, I'm quite busy at the moment. Okay, as you know... Five. <clears throat> what have you been doing recently? Oh, I've been revising for my exams, so I haven't been able to come out. Plus, my auntie is ill, so I've had to help my mother look after her. Oh, I hope your auntie gets better, and good luck in your exams. I'll play it again. Unit 5, Lesson 4. 1. Have you listened to the latest recitations yet? You can download them now from the website. Oh, good. The so the first uh, conversation is about latest recitation. So the first uh, topic about, or the first uh, part of the conversation, it was about latest uh, recitations. The second one, wa it was about poems by Shauki, by Ahmed Shauki. And the third one, it was uh, about the Al Janadria festival. And the third one, it was about calligraphy lessons. And the fifth one, it was why the girl hasn't been able to come out recently. So uh, it's very clear each uh, one uh, uh, is about different thing. Now I want from you to listen again uh, and. Um, write down all the questions which are mentioned in the uh, conversation. I think you will find it a little bit difficult, but try to do your best to write down uh, the questions which are mentioned in the conversation. We're going to listen Unit again. Unit 5, Lesson 4. 1. Have you listened to the latest recitations yet? This you is can first download them now from the website. The first oh, question. Good. The discussions of the Hadith are always really interesting. Here we Two. have heard our first question. Have you read Naj al Burda by Ahmed Shauki? This is I the really second like question. Yes, I agree. Although I can't always understand it. Three. Did you see anything at the Al Janadria this festival? This is the third question. What did Number you think three? of the folk dancers? Oh, yes. Well, we usually go every year for a big family day out. We usually like the tents from different regions. 
But this year, I didn't go because I was revising for exams. Four. Have you seen the advert in the paper for calligraphy lessons? I think the price is quite reasonable, and I would like to be able to perfect the shape of my letters and write artistic cards. Are you interested in going? What a good idea. Unfortunately, I'm quite busy at the moment. Five. The last conversation. What have you been doing recently? Oh, I've been revising for my exams, so I haven't been able to come out. Plus, my auntie is ill, so I've had to help my mother look after her. Oh, I hope your auntie gets better. And good luck in your exams. Okay, I hope you all uh, did it uh, uh, very well. And uh, if you find any difficulty, here are the questions which are mentioned on uh, the, fi uh, the five conversation. And uh, as you notice, the beginning of each conversation uh, was a question. So at the first, uh, first conversation, uh, there is a uh, opener question or o uh, opening question. Have you listened to the latest recita uh, recitations yet? Have you listened to the latest recitations yet? This is the first question. The second question was, have you read Nahj al-Burda by Ahmed Chauki? This is the second question. Number three, uh, did you see any uh, anything at the Janadria festival? Did you see anything at the uh, Janadria festival? And there is another question when, when, she, uh, when she said, what did you think of uh, folk dancers? What do you think of the folk dancers? Uh, the fourth conversation, uh, when they uh, open their conversation with uh, a question, when he say, have you seen the adverts in the paper of calligraphy lessons? And his uh, or he, uh, other question when he says, and he said, are you interested in going? Also, this is other question uh, used in the, uh, for, uh, in the fourth conversation. The last one, when she said, what have you been doing recently? What have you been doing recently? It is the uh, last uh, or the last conversation. And she used the question to open her dialogue or her conversation. So these are the questions which, uh, used, w which were used uh, in, the conver in the fifth or the five conversations. The last uh, thing uh, you have. Uh, to pay attention to, in English, uh, it is polite and uh, keeps the conversation going to agree with the speaker or repeat wh what the speaker says in your own words, only then give your own opinion. Um, yani it's, uh, it's rude when you disagree uh, in a very uh, a rude way. So try to be polite when you uh, when you want to express your opinion, it's a very good way to uh, reply and uh, uh, with agreement and then ex uh, express your opinion. And we have a similar uh, example uh, which are mentioned in the conversation when they said, oh good, the, uh, that, uh, the decisions of the hadith are always interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, the discussions of the hadith are always interesting. So when he said, oh God, oh God, it's a positive way to reply or to respond at uh, someone uh, uh, question or uh, discussion. Number two, also it's very clear, obvious when he said, yes, yes, I agree. Although I can always understand it. Uh, look here when he said, yes, I agree. Uh, yes, I agree, although I can always understand it. Uh, he uh, agree with the other person, with his opinion. Then he express about his opinion. I can always understand it. Uh, and the third uh, example here, when he said, oh yes, well, we usually go every year for a big family day, when they're talking about the Al Janadria festival. Uh, but this year I didn't go because I was re re uh, revising for exams. So uh, uh, she uh, agrees or agreed with her with her uh, friend when she said, "Oh yes, uh, we oh well we usually go every day every year for a big family day out." 
But this year, she didn't begin her reply with, uh, we cannot, but this year I didn't go because I was re uh, revising for exams. No, she uh, managed or she tried to uh, reply in a very positive way and uh, in a very polite way. Uh, it's very good uh, to be uh, uh, respectable even with your friend and uh, with uh, your family. Uh, and also when they said what a good idea when he say what a good idea it means that he uh, appreciate his idea he appreciate his idea but look at the second part of this sentence when he said unfortunately I'm quite busy at the moment uh, what a good idea uh, it means that he agree with him but in the other hand, when he said, unfortunately, it means that I'm quite busy at the moment. He has an excuse for do, uh, not doing so. So uh, this part of uh, the, the first reply or the first sentence, it's a kind of uh, positive way or it's a, it's a kind of a polite way uh, to response. And the other uh, one, uh, when you are going to mention an excuse or any uh, thing, you have to to put it uh, in the other part or other uh, part of the sentence. And also, if you look at uh, number five, when he say, "Oh, I have been re uh, revising for exams, so I haven't been able to come out. Uh, plus, my aunt is is ill, so I have had to help my mother look after her." So uh, the, all these are examples for how to be polite in uh, uh, replying uh, or in uh, responding. You, can, you cannot just say no, uh, you have to be polite. Uh, yani, مثلاً, uh, in Arabic, I can explain it in Arabic. Uh, if someone سألك شيء ما وانتي كنتي في تحفظ عن ابداء رأيك او انتي ما توافقين الرأي you cannot, or not to agree on the opinion, not to say that it's wrong, not correct, it must be in a way that is positive to open the eyes of the other. For example, I agree with your opinion, or I agree with your opinion, but I see that it's like this or that, or it's a good idea, but I prefer to sit in the house and so on. This way, or this way, you have to be polite when you are responding or receiving. Uh, any reply. This is one of a uh, good way to uh, build your own conversation. And you have speaking task. I hope you uh, do it uh, uh, at your home. Choose one of these topics. Here we have talk, uh, uh, take turns to open and uh, to open and build a two minute conversation or three if you can, of the following subjects. Uh, there are some su uh, suggested subjects such as uh, computer games, uh, recent homework, recent fashion, recent television programs, recent news at school, the, latest re uh, the latest recita uh, recitations, and uh, recent sport events. You can choose according to your, uh, for example, uh, your uh, interests. If you are a girl, I'm very sure you interest in fashion. If you are a boy, you can choose a sport event and try to build up, uh, build your own uh, conversation uh, by questioning, by, for example, a uh, specific way or suitable answers or suitable question that you have to use. And uh, pay attention. Don't forget, you need to listen carefully because you have to repeat back to the speaker what they think using your own words. Uh, you have to respect the speaker. You have to listen carefully. Don't in, uh, interrupt uh, the speaker. Uh, even if you have another uh, point of view, try to listen. Uh, try to be polite. Uh, it's a very good way uh, to, as a, as a Muslim first, and as a good, uh, a good uh, or a well-mannered mannered person to do so. Uh, so this is our lesson for today. I hope you all got benefit and enjoyed this episode. Uh, and inshallah, bin uh, uh, all of you uh, will be safe. Uh, your teacher, Shahinaz al Thank you a lot.